My name is Ron Shea, and I'm an associate professor of medicine here at Temple University Hospital. Uh, I came to work in Temple because of its national and international reputation in my field and some of the legends in our profession worked and work in Temple currently. My specialty is uh, gastrointestinal motility, which means motion of the digestive tract from the moment we put our food in our mouth until eventually we excrete it. I deal also with esophageal disorders. If people have problems with acid reflux or food that gets stuck in their esophagus or from other reasons, any many reasons they don't feel comfortable after they ingest or they swallow the food, that is kind of my profession, all of this field. The complaints that patients bring to my office include uh, swallowing problems, their, esophag their problems with their esophagus, food getting stuck, heartburn, um, uh, gastric problems with food that stays in their stomach and does not uh, move forward, um, small bowel and large bowel problems like constipation, incontinence, chronic functional abdominal pain, um, bloating, and all and other issues that have to do with the digestive tract. We diagnose the problems usually we have a large uh, armamentarium of tools that we can uh, use. Usually we start by talking to the patient. It gives us a very good uh, and taking very good history. Then we have all kinds of other diagnostic tools, endoscopies, breath tests, pressures tests, special monometries. Today we have tools that could replace uh, surgical treatment of cutting muscles, uh, that need to be uh, cut during uh, procedures and things like that, that in the past would necessitate full bone surgery, and we can actually do it today in the endoscopy suite, and the patient goes home after a couple of hours. We have patients that come to us with fecal incontinence, which I think is, is one of the most uh, problematic disorders that there are out there. Highest, high percentage of our population are women postpartum after uh, birth that have tears during birth and a couple of years later, it doesn't have to start immediately, it could be even 10 or 15 years after birth. They've had large tears there that heal but do not heal adequately. Today we have nerve stimulators that could help uh, control uh, the sphincter muscles. And we have also uh, special uh, injections that we can inject. And patients with constipation, uh, when they come to clinic today, if a doctor or, or some other healthcare provider just offers them laxative and says, try these laxatives and have a good day, well, today that they, we know that there are many other things that could be done and need to be evaluated prior to that. My military service helps me to deal with uh, major crisis helps me to uh, know how to approach patients that I see that they're under major stress and um, support them. <laughs>